Alright, that was an example of the Twixter effect, which I will be showing you now in this tutorial by the Techie Guru, how to use the Twixter effect on Sony Vegas. Okay, it's very similar to do, just get the Twixter effect, obviously you can get it from Google or something. Okay, but first what you're going to do is obviously get your clip and drag it into the timeline. And uh, to get the Twixter effect, you're, you know, just going to want to find a download link, search it up on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of videos showing you how to get it for free. And then obviously install it on Sony Vegas. And uh, once you've installed it, come back and follow the rest of this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, um, you're going to want to right click and go to properties and click disable resampling and click OK and now you're going to want to delete the audio as the Twixter doesn't like slow down or speed up the audio so if you don't delete it it'll be out of sync with the video and it'll just look useless so okay so once you do that you're going to go to video effects and go and find Trickster, which will be in the T section if you don't know how to spell. So click on that and then simply drag it onto your video. Once you've done so, the video offend FX block or whatever you call it um, will pop up. And uh, just before we do that, you want to change the preview to. Um, well, you're going to want to change it to draft and then depending on your computer speed either half or quarter to make the viewing of a video smooth my computer is pretty slow so I've stuck it on quarter but um, I'll just move this around for you guys so it's easy to see now you're going to want to click this little clock here by speed and that will up open up a timeline below I'll just make that shorter smaller sorry and first, while on this, you're going to want to click the padlock down here. And what that does, it um, links this timeline with the video timeline. And so when you move in um, along this, this timeline, it will be synced with the video to make the putting of the key frames easier. So what I'm going to want to do is find uh, the start, as you see on the video, the start of where he throws the stun. So around here, that's where he does it. So what you're going to want to do here, I'm going to slow it down first. At the start of the stun, you're going to want to put a keyframe for 100%. So add a keyframe. So I've just added a keyframe for 100% for the speed. Now you want to go one frame forward and then change the speed to I recommend anywhere around 10 if you're going for slow motion um, yeah, suits me suits best it works best so I, I just recommend that so uh, I'm gonna choose 10 for this one because I, I like it and then obviously add a keyframe for 10 there you go now I'm gonna go to the end of where he chucks the stun and I'm gonna add another keyframe for 10% speed so that's around here that looks good around yeah there maybe a couple frames that's fine right so we're gonna add a keyframe and it's on 10 add now move one frame forward again and change it the speed back to 100 and add the keyframe. Okay, so that's the first part done, which is just the the throw of the stun, which starts off the video, um, or starts off the clip basically. And in between these two points here, you'll notice that the speed is now at uh, ten percent. Right. So now I'm going to go on to the next part, which is the speed up bit, which if you watched in the example, um, he like zoomed across the bit, which is good for um videos if the say the clip speeds up or the song speeds up or you need to get to a or you're losing you're in out of time with the music and you need to speed up or something it's great for that so you want you to do click on speed add a keyframe for a hundred percent again 
Now um, change go again, go one frame forward, and then as you're speeding up this time, I recommend 250. Um, it's probably your best bet. You know, any too fast and it just looks stupid. I guess if you wanted to do it really quickly, go for like a teleport sort of effect. But this is good because it's like it looks like a fast forward or something, and I think it's a good effect. So 250. I have you know just mess around with it, whatever you like best you can go with that but uh, this one seems the best for me so I, I picked that so again add the keyframe and then go to the end of the video add the keyframe again and then another frame forward and then change it back to a hundred and add that final keyframe so there in between those two key f oh, those four keyframes there is the speed up which is where he speeds up along the bridge so now we come on to the final part of the shot which is the bit you want to make good so I'm looking for just before the start of the shot which is yes yeah, around there yeah just just there so um, I'm gonna add a keyframe at a hundred go one frame forward and then you see that's just before the shot which is bang on again you're gonna want to slow it down and because it's the shot um, I recommend slowing it down to around eight because that's probably your best bet because you want it to go really slowly right on the shot. Let's just edge that forward. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the end of the shot, which is a couple of frames, a couple of frames um, forward, and around there looks about good. Um, yeah, a couple of frames. Yeah, that that looks about right. So what you're going to do is add another keyframe, which I should do. Yeah, there we go. Add a keyframe or for eight percent. Then you're going to go one frame forward, change it back to a hundred, and there you go. You have the tw three Twixter effects all done. Then obviously add that keyframe. So there you go. You've got the speed up, the slow down. You've got the slow down, the speed up, and then the final shot. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you had a, one more thing, I've got to say, if I've been having problems where the Twixter has been, like when rendering, it's put the Twixter effect a couple of f frames forward, so it hasn't been in the right place. So as in, the Twixter just looks rubbish because it's not on the throw-in or the running across the bridge. So if you ever get, if you do get that problem, uh, to sort it out, you know, I've been watching a couple of other videos trying to find out what the problem was and I found out if you change the um, this to no MV I think it is um, frame blend and then type in um, I think yeah, frame blend click that and that should uh, sort out the problem it did for me anyway now my videos look great that's how I ended up with a good example I guess if it's a good example anyway so um yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the Techie Guru. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.